final expansion coming to Wasteland 3 is the Cult of the Holy Destination, which was announced this week, adding worshippers of a nuclear explosion held in stasis. The expansion will release on October 5th. Wasteland 3's second and final narrative expansion takes players to the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, home to the Cult of the Holy Destination. Developers in Excel shares that your squad of rangers will be tested like never before in objective-based encounters that put a creative spin on the already deeply tactical turn-based combat. The expansion adds new weapons and armor as well as more enemies to Wasteland 3. Team 17 and developer Drop Bear Bites announced Broken Road, a post-apocalyptic RPG set in Australia. Broken Road's got a new trailer at Gamescom 2021 and has a new publisher which is Team 17. The narrative-driven RPG will launch both on PC and consoles in 2022. Expect a mature storyline with a deep morality system all taking place in Australia, which is now a wasteland. The morality system not only influences the quests, but the dialogue and the character development. The game will feature real-world locations and landmarks as you explore, fight and of course, survive. Players can choose different philosophical paths, humanist, utilitarian, Machiavellian and nihilist, each having their own unique traits. The New World Open Beta will be taking place from September 9th to September 12th according to the announcement at Gamescom Opening Night Live. The release date for September 28th is still going ahead despite previous delays for the MMO. Players will be able to request access at the beginning of September 8th at 7am PT. The public beta will allow players to check out New World before the release of the game at the end of the next month, and a chance for the developer to stress test the servers with no doubt a huge influx of players this time around. In addition to the news about the beta, Amazon Games revealed a new trailer featuring the supernatural world of New World. The developer has already warned on the open beta FAQ page that there may be some queue times during the beta test. Again, the progress made in open beta will not carry over to the full game, so while ultimately what happens in beta stays in beta, it's a good chance to experiment with some builds and features of the game before launch. For access, the developer behind XCOM unveils at Gamescom 2021 Marvel's Midnight Sun, a turn-based RPG based on the Marvel Universe being published by 2K Games. While the team involved have worked on XCOM, the new RPG Marvel game won't share mechanics with XCOM and won't include permadeath according to Jake Solomon via Polygon. Marvel's Midnight Suns will place players in the role of the Hunter and all new character design in partnership with Marvel Comics. From the sounds of it, the Hunter will be highly customizable in not just appearance but also in combat ability with over 40 different superpowers available. This will give a wide variety of abilities from light to dark, allowing players to choose the more traditional superheroes' powers or stray into the more occult anti-heroes such as Ghost Rider and Blade. One of the biggest differences players will experience compared to XCOM games is how the skills advance. Players will be able to explore the Abbey and all new headquarters area in between missions that players can explore in third person and even develop relationships with other superheroes. This area is a hangout area of sorts which will include being able to give gifts and choose dialogue which in turn will affect your relationships. Marvel's Midnight Suns will release in March 2022. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous is just days away from its launch on September 2nd. In the latest trailer, it features the different locations, enemies, and some of the spells players will encounter in-game. The trailer was released during Gamescom 2021. In case you missed it, Alcat Games previously announced the CRPG would be coming to consoles next year on March 1st, 2022. They also shared details about the mythic path players will take with mythic transformations allowing characters to become an angel, demon, lich, trickster, Eon, Azata, Gold Dragon, Swarm That Walks, and Legend. The Waylanders is being developed by Gato Salvage Studio, which is currently in early access. The Waylanders, the party-based RPG, has now got a confirmed release date, which is November 16th, 2021, coming to Steam and GOG. The announcement also came with a 20% discount, so you can pick up the game for $27.99 USD for the next week. Players take on an adventure comprised of six base classes as they explore a Celtic Spanish wilderness filled with warring factions, monsters, and magic corruptions. Build alliances, even pursue romantic entanglements, and follow a story of a cultural shift and conflict. Announced this week is Blasphemous Wounds of Eventide, which is the last DLC for the punishing Metroidvania title. The DLC is set to launch for free on December 9th. While it's sad to hear that this will be the last DLC for Blasphemous, news of a sequel was also revealed. The trailer teased Blasphemous 2, which has a release window of 2023. The trailer didn't reveal much as it showed only the number 2 at the end of the video, but it does mean a sequel is underway. 
Blasphemous follows the tale of the Persianate One, the only living survivor of the massacre of the Silent Sorrow. The game has punishing action with a number of brutal executions. If you're looking for more great Metroidvania titles, you can check out our list here in Top 10 Metroidvanias to play in 2021. Also this week, a little Starfield news. Bethesda have revealed three new videos which were unlisted, discovered by fans, which reveal the lore behind a few locations in the upcoming space, RPG Starfield. The videos were shared on social media, which offer a little insight into locations of cities called New Atlantis, Neon, and Aquila. These brief videos were unlisted and Bethesda confirmed via IGN that these were shared amongst members of a community club called Constellations. Each video shares snippets of information about each of the different locations and some concept art. Neon is described as a fishing rig that has now been turned into a pleasure city, which profits on fish that have psychotropic properties, which produce a drug called Aurora. New Atlantis is the capital of the major government faction called the United Colonies. Lastly, Aquila City is a war bastion of freedom and individuality, surrounded by wilderness, home to Ashtar, alien monsters which look like a mix between wolf and velociraptor. While the videos aren't extensive, it is a closer look into the lore behind some of the areas in Starfield. We'll be adding information to our Starfield wiki as it releases, so make sure to bookmark our wiki for all the latest. Opening Night Live at Gamescom 2021 kicked off this week with announcing winners for their awards, with Elden Ring being nominated for several categories. The category that the game did win was Best Sony PlayStation Game, with Yasuhiro Kitao, who is the promotion, marketing and production head from, from Software, accepting the award in a recorded message, thanking fans for their support. But that wasn't all for Elden Ring news, as many of the media, including ourselves, were invited to watch a presentation which features gameplay of Elden Ring. This includes new details about PvP, crafting, magic types, spirit summons, weapons, armor sets, stamina, and more. And it also goes into more detail about character customization. So if you're curious about what we saw, head over to our video slash article, Elden Ring new gameplay, breakdown and impressions, new mechanics revealed to find out more about everything that we saw and our overall impressions. You can also drop by our Fextra Life Twitch account when Kaz is streaming to ask questions about Elder Ring, of course. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids, and general wiki goodness.